night, I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming no, no. towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely... It looks like John Tron. Oh, fuck. I just realized something. Um, it's gonna be... It's kind of quiet right now. So I'm gonna need to fix this. And I don't want to pause it. Okay, I can pause it. Okay, good. Okay, hold on. When they cast John Tron for this, uh, part in the, uh, Resident Evil 2 remake, uh, they wanted to make sure that he, uh, did the same facial expressions he does on his, uh, on his, um, YouTube videos. <laughs> Guys, we know what music Re Leon likes. Oh my god. <laughs> also, his hair is brown. Or no one's around. dirty blonde? Brown or dirty blonde? I guess it's brown. I don't know why he dyes his hair blonde. In uh, Resident Evil <laughs> 4. Right? I guess it's dirty blonde? I can't tell. I literally can't tell. Blood! At a gas station? What the heck? Look at that depth of field I specifically said to turn off. Unless that's just... Did it actually change my fucking graphic settings again? No. Oh, wow. Maybe it is. Wow, okay, hold on. Yeah. That's what it was. That's what's doing it. It was the, um... That filter. Okay, well, I'm turning it back on. Because <laughs> now that I know what the issue was, it was the, um, rendering is normal image quality. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna put it to ultra quality. And just kind of deal with that. If you walk in the, uh, rain, your character reacts. It's kind of cool. I like this effect. That's a cool effect. You can read this. Dingo red cigarettes. Uh, when <clears throat> when life has you seeing red, enjoy the wild taste of dingo red cigarettes. Get wild now on sale. Celebrating a hundred years of service. Uh, Cordis Painting Company. You can call that number. It's totally a real number. And then a sign that says Raccoon City. I'm kind of curious on what happens if you walk out of the border. So it says Raccoon City. We just walk. What happens? Nothing out here. <laughs> Nothing out here. Well, thanks for... You know, I guess paying attention to that. I don't know why they wouldn't, but... Is there anything I can grab from the... Yeah, he starts wiping himself off once you get in the... Outside. Um, I do have the ability to do a... There's a... Telephone. Um... Wow. Gas is only a dollar? Fuck. That hurts. It hurts. That tells you uh, what year this is, um, because the game does the game even explicitly tell you, like what year this is in? Because if it doesn't, then that's obviously a telltale sign is the prices. If that's supposed to simulate real world prices on gas, that's pretty epic. I I know I keep like walking around this place, but she riff. I like that she riff. Bag of ice is two dollars. That's a rip off. <laughs> it's fucking ice. Free air though. All right. Well, that's pretty good. Only some places do that. Let's have fun. Refresh your mind. Sparkling cool. Love these ads. Snack sale. <laughs> Whoa. Coffee special blend. 
limited offer beer on sale and it's this a little wine to wind down the day <laughs> at a gas station stop nice face hello anybody there no noises Something's not right. Now, I've already played this sequence. I already know everything about it. I've, I think I've seen the entire game at this point through play, Let's Plays and stuff. Um, let's see. I just want to look at this stuff. Let's see. Please have your ID ready. Dollar twenty-five for a pack of ciggies. We don't sell tobacco to miners. Tobacco. It's like this whole place is here to sell tobacco. And uh, cheap hamburgers. It's good shit. There's also a turnaround button. Normally it would be the A button. Like you hit A instead. Can I change that? I have a lot of stuff here. There's nothing back here, by the way. Unless there is something back there. Come on. Yeah, what the fuck? There's nothing back here. You'll see later. Hold on. You all right? You all right? Don't move. I'll be back for you. Poor guy. Doesn't fucking do any. Didn't do anything wrong, you know what I'm saying? Stop moving. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got this. Big mistake. Oh my god, you're getting so much lag. Yeah, you're getting so much lag for this cutscene. Holy shit. Freeze. Wow, you got so much lag for that cutscene. Shit. What the? Damn. So cutscenes are, are pretty bad for you. They probably have a lot more stuff that they're rendering. So that's why. Oh, nice. Fucking classy, dude. Classy shit. And you can examine items to then change what they say. Which is cool. No way. This can't be. Oh my god. It, the game pauses whenever you do these, so pretty much it's it's like, oh my god, what the? oh my god, there's a zombie behind here out of nowhere. What the heck? Oh my god, cutscene. Okay, that this cutscene's fine. <laughs> Did they really need to do like a hyper realistic cutscene? <laughs> all right. That has like a billion so. polygons. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. When we're safe. Holy shit. You can thank me later. <sighs> now his hair looks dirty blonde. Come on. Guess we're not stopping to get gas. <laughs> Come on, make a joke. Make a joke, Leon. Make a cringy joke. I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Ugh. Come on. Make jokes. Make cringy, over-the-top jokes. Come on, Leon. 
And now they're doing their Netflix special intro, where it's like weirdly cinematic or something. This is a movie. You are currently playing Resident Evil 2. Whoa. What does it mean? Footsteps. Soldiers? Red light. Cars. Oh my god. No freaking way. Raccoon City is off the grid. Uh, I think we need to, uh, step on the gas. More like running. <laughs> yeah, good call. <laughs> so serious. I mean, the the acting's good. It's just it's not Resident Evil. The point of Resident Evil, just like Need for Speed, is that it has to have over the top cringe acting. It's it's like supposed to be like a classic horror movie. No, John Tron. John Tron did a good deed before he passed. He managed to help Leon and Claire get out of a sticky situation. Um, until he dies in a second here. And ruptured lungs, broken spine, broken bones, broken ribs. Uh, shouldn't be walking right now because um, that's not how explosions work. He should be dead. Okay. Hi. Let's get out of here. Like cheekies. We just like caused a huge explosion. There should be more cars blowing up. Oh yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry. You're supposed to go this way. Maybe. No. Thank God the Raccoon City Police Station is completely armed with a, a locking me mechanism like this. And there's a fence uh, surrounding the entire building. Very good. We're in. Hello? Is anybody here? <laughs> I'm so wet. God. Good lord. What is that? Bakery bread? In Malboro? What Tashi is this place? <sighs> Handgun ammo. Okay. So I have seven bullets. Okay. So it doesn't just take all my ammo away. Got it. Role playing district. There has to be someone here. Come on. I need someone to RP with me. Not good. David, Marvin, you there? No. Criminal on the loose. Here's footage of what the criminal looks like. It's good shit. 
Main hall. I gotta find that guy. I gotta find that guy. Okay. Wait, what did my gun say? 12 shot capacity, 9mm poly um, polymer uh, frame handgun. Non standard issue gun with problems that make it impractical for the general public. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's a fine weapon. Let me see down the barrel. Oh. That's a fine weapon, I tell you what, Matilda. It it's it's a gun. There's ammo. That whoa. What does this say on there? It says um maximum standard handgun. Hunting ammunition. Handgun high velocity maximum standard. That's all it says on the entire packaging. Where's the nutritional value? Where, where's the nutritional facts, huh? How much a uh, bullet per calorie? I can move this. They brought this back for some reason in Resident Evil 4's remake. So you'll see that again. Uh, no more quick time events. Unless they feel like it. Oh, first aid spray. Thanks. Now, this game is no Silent Hill, I tell you what. Silent Hill knows how to do horror. Or at least the... Up to the third one. Um, well, actually, the first one, I wouldn't say is necessarily creepy. But there are creepy moments in it. Dude, you need to calm down. I'll get you out. Please, give me your hand. Help me. I got you. Give me your other hand. Ow. What the fuck? Jesus. Chills. What the fuck? Officer's notebook. Okay. Way out. Got a statue. Three medallions? You go under the statue, through the rooms, down an elevator, question mark, upstairs, parking lot, then way out, and then there's the little horse with some icons there that's kind of hard to see. Uh, these are the different ones, so... Okay. So each one of them holds a medallion that we then have to take to the goddess statue. Got it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ow, fuck. Oh my god. I got bitten, so... I'm in the air. I got bitten. Oh my god. You guys never played COD Zombies, you silly? Ah, fuck. No. Ow. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. This 
safe. For now. Wait, I was bitten, so I'm gonna turn right. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I could. Yeah. Not a clue. I got my gear. Honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully, you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie! <gasps> save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Yay, a combat knife. Pretty screen, a combat knife wears down with use and will break when its gauge is depleted. You ready? And then you slash it. Can be used as a counterattack if you press LB when you are caught by an enemy and you can use it. Okay. Got it. Okay. Well, for me, uh, I'm in caution. I'm going to use... Uh, Use this herb. Herb. And then move the knife over. Okay. I'm ready, sir. This oh, is yeah. Not how I imagine my first day. You look badass. So. You look cooler. Than his the the fucking lieutenant. Why the fuck? I guess it's because um. I don't know. Why do they just give him like? Why don't they all have this? <laughs> like he has like the the body armor. He has like the the belt. He he has the whole get up, and no one else had this. No one else on the team has had this. Why? What happened? I mean, it's not like it would have done anything, but, you know, I'm just saying, like, it just doesn't make sense to me that he's the only one who has this outfit. Or at least I haven't met anybody else who wears this. What the heck? <laughs> Shit. Okay. I'm ready. Way. You know what? Fuck off. I'd rather waste like three bullets to knock you down for a second. Hold on. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I think she's dead. For real, for real. I don't think uh, an alive person would ragdoll like that. So, they're dead. Forever. And then we enter through here. And then ar immediately get harassed by a zombie. Hey, do you have anything on you? You do. Yeah, give me that. Thanks. Oh no, a zombie. He wants to get the food. He's hungry. Are you hungry? 
You didn't notice me, right? Oh, you did. Okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Get out of here. You're being a little goober, you know that? Oh my god, what the fuck? Ah, stop that. Dude, that's not cool. Are you actually dead? Can I have my knife back? Dude, that's fucked up. That's fucked up for you to do, man. I think we could do all these. What the fuck are you doing here? Where did you come from? Wait, can I shoot... Can I shoot your foot? Okay, that doesn't do anything. Hold on. Oh, it does. Oh, yo. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You know what? Yeah, you, you do that. 109. Almost there. Damn. Let's go. Alright, this zombie's just gonna be annoying. So can you just shut up? Please? No, I know you're still alive. Okay, no, he's dead. Okay, he 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 got me. He got me. Alright, you got me, dude. I thought you were gonna be a still alive, but I'm wrong. Silly me. This is a button. There's the music. Nice. Watch this. Drop down. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down. Or, okay. It would have been funny if they just straight up fell down, but okay. Nice death. Did you see that? Did you see him die? Did you see him die? Oh shit, he's actually alive again. Hold on. Okay, he's definitely dead now. Did you see that? Here's the fun room. Uh, the men's locker room. This is, uh, this is where the party gets started. That's what the, uh, the cool kids like to say. It's, it's where the cool shit happens. Oh my god! That jumped me a little bit. Are you alive? I don't know if you're alive, but you- you scared me there for a second. You're blocking the door. You're blocking the door. Come on. Come on. Come on. There, Jesus. Hold on! I'll be right there! Okay! Oh, I, I, I'm getting vibrating on my controller. Claire! It's Claire! So you. How are you doing? That helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Mm. But how are you doing? You know, just surviving. That's good. Yeah. Any luck with your brother? No, not yet. Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. Damn it. You know what that means? Yeah. Dinner time. <gasps> yes! 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 Claire, I think you should go. Don't yes! Worry about me, right? Yes! Take care of yourself. Cringe puns! Cringe puns! Yes! You need to go. Now! Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. So, if you don't remember, there is a very famous boss fight in this game. That is a character in particular, that is essentially a guy who takes- here he is. I get- he's already pretty far advanced in his person.
but you gotta shoot the eye um, that's on his shoulder. But yeah, so basically he, he takes this virus and it's basically kind of slowly been taking him over. We're going to try to use a shotgun. I don't know if there's like a way to fight him. He's like, kill me! But in the original game, he's a lot more... Um, interesting of a character because he doesn't start out with like yeah grab these ow fuck dude you're blocking me dude you're blocking me here we go Bye bye. Thanks, ladder sequence. Somebody's watching me. <laughs> I kind of feel like somebody's watching me. But yeah, that's the um. I forgot his name. I think his name is like William or something like that. And, um, he's, like, a character that, again, he's, he plays a major role in Resident Evil 2. Uh, because he's, he's one of the bosses in the game, or villains in the game, that evolves over time. And in Resident Evil 2, he's basically just, like, a, um, a wandering zombie, pretty much. And, um, in this one, he's already on, like, his, like, second form. But in that one, you can kind of see him kind of starting, um, to be one, and then you, he slowly becomes more and more, uh, whatever you want to call it. When you first encounter him, he resembles a man, just slightly mutated, bloody, and muscular. He makes monstrous noises, and then his arms start to grow. He twitches, cringes, and moans. And oh my god, he just gets more and more beautiful every second. Damn. Need a keycard. Hello? Hey, I don't believe it. A real human. <laughs> Hello, human. You been here long? Long enough. Are we the last ones alive? No, no, there's a few of us. Huh. That's good news, I guess. Yeah. That's of course Irons sent you. Irons? You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's somebody's dinner by now. What do you mean by that? He's the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. I'd have done the same thing to him, I guess. Huh? Hey, I'll make you a deal. Unlock this cell and I'll give you this. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry, I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in the station. So either we play nice, Help each other out. He has a good reason, Shit. to be honest. What's coming? What? What's coming? Come on. Come on, don't be an asshole. Okay, you need this. Just get me the fuck out of here. Oh my god. in the world <laughs> that 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 perfectly represents like this game oh my god it was like perfect because it is 
I'm talking about like in, in like classic games where it's just like an image. All that needed to be was to have like the CGI from Fallout like one or two, where it's just like that like early 3D like cinematic CGI. Oh my god. Marvin. Oh no. Damn it. I'm sorry. Aww. I'm sorry. I needed that knife, god damn it. Alright, you ready? That's the scary part. Run. Fucking run. Here he comes. Here comes Mr. X. The man himself. Hey. Alright, you ready? This guy is fucked. This guy is fucked up, yo. Okay. He will fucking follow you everywhere. He is a fucking psycho. He is literally gonna chase you down to the end of time. Just watch. If you feel safe now, you're not safe. <laughs> when you think you feel safe, you're not. Um, so I need to take this. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's not a jack. It's not. It's not a jack. Um, where the fuck does a valve go? Like a a giant valve? Cause, okay. So wait. No 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 wait. We have the club key now. We have the club key right here. So what we need to do is we need to make our way back downstairs. Oh god. Yeah, we're gonna have to go the long way. <laughs> <laughs> but once we go the long way uh, I think actually if we take this down so this is the second floor we take it down to here oh god there's the liquor though so that wouldn't work would it because now I have to deal with the liquor and I don't have ammo to deal with it I'd have to try to avoid it which I can't do. So the only thing I could do is to immediately turn around and go downstairs. That would probably be the best course of action. Okay. Oh god, he's coming. Oh, come the fuck on. Really? Ah, oh, fuck. Ow. I, I can't deal with this, man. Really? Ah, oh, come on. Really? Okay. Fuck. Really? Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> dude, come the fuck on. I can't fucking do this. I can't do it, man. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Come on, dude. 
<laughs> Come on! <laughs> dude, I can't fucking do it. Dude. I can't fucking do it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just fucking save. <sighs> oh, dude. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Oh, God. That's just too much, man. No, oh, ah, uh, that's oh fuck me. Oh fuck. <sighs> everything. Oh my god, everything was just I genuinely like. Right then and there, like right when the zombie bit me. I legitimately was just like, I I need to fucking stop. I need to stop. I need to stop, dude. I'm I I can't play. Can't play. I'm literally dead. But thank God, Mister X is nice and just decided to stand there. Um. Oh my God. Fuck me, man. <laughs> dude. That that was genuine. That was genuine fear. <sighs> The fucking and then on top of that they're throwing li just there's just a liquor there now and then fucking there's like that entire small like closed corridor room of zombies and then there's the two zombies that were there from earlier that opened up that door and they were just there and they both happened to miss me oh, fuck ah oh, fuck me I don't know if I can keep playing. I feel like I'm gonna fucking throw up. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna fucking vom. I'm like fucking scared. I, I wanna go do the puzzle. But I'm like... I have to... I have to like solve that puzzle. So that I can get up to the clock tower. <laughs> I don't... Fuck man. I'm just gonna... Oh man. I can't. I... I've done so much. Oh my god. Holy shit.